Over the last few days or so, we got news that Marvel have revealed a list of characters that will be prominently featured throughout Phase 5, which will start next year when Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania comes out and will conclude with the Thunderbolts in 2024. And today in this video, we're going to be running down who these leading Phase 5 characters are and discuss what kind of role they will be playing that will make them a prominent figure in Phase 5. And just very quickly before we get going, please give this video a like as it helps out the channel a lot and also comment down below which Phase 5 MCU project are you most looking forward to. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and also subscribe to the channel to get more content just like this one. So who are the prominent characters in Phase 5 for the MCU? Those characters are said to be Daredevil, Kate Bishop aka Hawkeye, Sam Wilson's Captain America, Ms. Marvel and Ironheart. Let's start out with my favourite of the bunch, Daredevil, who is my fourth all-time favourite character only behind Spider-Man, Green Arrow and Batman. Hearing that Daredevil is one of the more prominent figures in Phase 5 isn't all that surprising when you take a look at what's already been reported and confirmed regarding Charlie Cox and his appearances in the MCU. He first showed up in Spider-Man No Way Home and will be returning to our screens in a later episode of the currently ongoing She-Hulk Attorney at Law series on Disney+. Plus. Then, the next time we will see him is in the upcoming Echo show, also on Disney+, Plus, where, according to reports, he will be looking for Jessica Jones. And yeah, that Jessica Jones. And after Echo, his next appearance is in Spider-Man Freshman Year, where it's confirmed he'll be wearing the black and red suit this time around. Although it's looking very likely that Freshman Year isn't going to be set in the main MCU timeline, but rather within the MCU multiverse, I will be making a video on this topic soon, so stay tuned to get that video. And finally, Daredevil will star in his own show in Daredevil Born Again, which is confirmed to be 18 episodes long, so it will run the course of 4-5 to five months from when it airs to the season finale. That's three different projects that Daredevil will be involved in in Phase 5 alone, so it's not a shocker that Marvel says that he is a prominent figure during this particular phase. Moving on to Kate Bishop, we last saw Kate Bishop in Hawkeye late last year on Disney Plus and there hasn't really been a season 2 announcement as of yet and there also hasn't been any news at all regarding Hayley Steinfeld being involved in any of the upcoming MCU projects so far so where she will be appearing next is a big mystery but since she's listed as a prominent figure in Phase 5 then she's definitely going to be showing up somewhere down the line in one or two of the upcoming projects. And I think one of the projects we'll most likely see Kate Bishop appear in is maybe Echo, considering Echo did play a key role in Hawkeye, so there's already a connection there. And my next guess as to where she could show up would be Daredevil Born Again, simply because both characters are based in New York, so it'll be easy for them to run into each other. And there's also always a possibility of Hawkeye getting a season 2, which of course she would definitely be in that show as well. Next up we have Captain America aka Sam Wilson. We know for certain that we'll be seeing him again in his own Phase 5 movie, Captain America The New World Order, but where else could we be seeing Sam Wilson appear in Phase 5? I'm guessing it will be in the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts are a team of villains and anti-heroes put together and masquerading themselves as heroes. It's been heavily rumoured that Bucky aka the Winter Soldier, Zemo and John Walker aka US Agent will be part of the Thunderbolts lineup as like in the comics and Sam has a connection with each of these three characters, especially Bucky. Plus, if a gang of supervillains and anti-heroes are running around freely, then you're obviously going to run in with some real heroes who will have issues with this at some point. So why not just make it Captain America himself? I can honestly see that happening in the Thunderbolts movie. And as for Ms. Marvel, who's also the next prominent Phase 5 character, she's going to be appearing in The Marvels, which was formerly titled Captain Marvel 2. Now with both Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan entering the mix, it's going to be a trios movie. 
I can honestly see Ms. Marvel also showing up in Ironheart because the two have a connection in the comics as they're both part of the teenage superhero team called Champions. So it makes sense for the MCU to establish a connection between the younger and newer generation of heroes. And speaking of Ironheart, she's the final character who will be prominently featured in Phase 5. She will be having her own show on Disney Plus and although it's not confirmed if this is or isn't a Phase 5 project, Armor Wars does seem to be a natural fit for Riri Williams to appear in so if Armor Wars is in Phase 5 then she will have a role in that show in some way shape or form and of course we're obviously going to be seeing her in Black Panther Wakanda Forever which will mark the end of Phase 4. And there you have it. Which characters are you guys most looking forward to seeing in Phase 5? Me personally is of course Daredevil because as I said earlier on in the video, he's one of my all time favourite characters and I love, love, love Charlie Cox's version of the character as well. I think he was born to play that role. I cannot see anybody else filling in the shoes of Matt Murdock. Also very excited to see Kate Bishop again because number one, she's my girl, of course. And number two, I just loved her in Hawkeye. But comment down below your thoughts and if you like the video, give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys later in the next video.